Hi everybody, it's Carol Murphy. How are you? Let me know you're here. And I'm just going to put something here. And there we go. So when you come on, please say hi. I'm just getting my face prepped for, um, for full face makeup today. So come join me, sit down, have a cup of coffee, and let's chat. My name's Carol Murphy, if you don't know me, and if you're new to my page, please click anywhere on my face and click follow. Then if you want to get notified, you click the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, and then you can, um, choose turn notifications on and then follow me so that will be great and if you do not see the red live button in the upper left hand corner then you're on replay and if you can let me know that you watched on replay that will be great so today i'm going to use one of our addiction shadow palettes but first i have to prep my eyes and i used i did put these on the lids already and i put them on my brows too this is the um, Moodstruck um, Eye Primer. So now I'm gonna put on the uh, our new product, which is the Veil Protection Mask by Unique. And I'm a presenter with Unique and have been a presenter for two years. And I'm also an associate with Isogenics and I've joined, and I've been with that company for a year. And, um, so I put way too much on, this comes out real fast, but we'll use it. And it's a veiling moisturizer with sunscreen. So it adds additional moisture to your skin. And it's a sunscreen, because we do have a sunny day today. And if you're out in the sun more than two hours, you need to reapply this. So I already primed my eyebrows with the eye primer because I'm using the Brow Obsession palette. I will be using it when I'm done this. <laughs> so how's your day going? Let me know. When you come on, say hi. If you hear anything in the background, it's my washer going. And this does not feel greasy at all. I think that's enough. Put the rest on the neck. So say hi, hi Karen, how are you? How's it going? I just applied the moisturizer, the um, sun veil protection. Hey, hey! And now I'm going to use the face primer, if I can find it. That's the new one. I know the old one's around here somewhere. So how are you? What's going on? Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. <laughs> So I'm using the Touch Glorious Face Primer. I can get the lid off, hold on. There we go. It was on pretty tight. And you need a pea size of this. This is um, to protect your pores with any liquid makeup. I'm doing good, Karen, thank you. Um, I slept good, got to bed late, but slept good. That's why I'm on an hour later. So you use that's a little too much too. But you use a pea-sized, and that's more like a, uh, a dime size, sorry. <laughs> We're probably not gonna use all that. And you just put it on, like that little bit will cover it. Hate to waste the product though. So I'll use it on my neck. So 
So you gently rub it in and it's supposed to help the pores. This helps keep the makeup on longer and give it easy application. Oh. So what's the weather like there, Karen? We're partly sunny right now, so. All right, so I wanna use one of our Addiction Shadow Palettes, Palette 6, and I wanted to show you the others first, so I have to put my glasses on. Actually, I'll just show you the colors so I really don't need to read them. This is palette number one. This is our neutral palette. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh. And this is palette number two. Oh, good. I'm doing delicates right now, so. And this is palette two, our smoky eyed palette. Isn't that nice? That's palette two. Palette three is our pink and gray palette. Pink, purple, and gray. Yeah, I like that. And palette four is our blues and browns. Isn't that nice? Palette four. And palette five is known as the unicorn palette. See all the pretty colors there? That is gorgeous. Look at that. And palette six, the one I'm using is our newest palette. I love this one too. Well, I love them all, but I'm going to be using this one. I did put eye primer on my lids just to make the color pop on the lids. And um, I didn't do the contour because I wanted it to blend easy. But there is a trick to get it to use that one too and to um, have it blend easy. So anyway, because these really don't um, have fallout, I'm going to do my brows first with the Brow Obsession Palette in Brunette. Oh, good. It's it's not raining. Okay. Or, good. So I'm going to use the light brown one because I used eye primer and that makes the color pop. Watch this. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. Get this a little more here. There we go. I have a mirror on my left and I double check to make sure it's okay. I don't want it to do the other side. There we go. See how that color pops because, and this is the light brown one. And I have no wax, so that's why I used the eye primer. So. Okay, so I'm going to use our stick foundations and the kabuki brush. Find that. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Kabuki brush. I had to get that one brush. Okay, this is the Kabuki brush, and this works great with the liquid, the uh, stick foundations. So, so I'll, put, I'll need the blush brush too. So, I use the mixture of velour and taffeta. Taffeta adds a little more color to the velour. And when I use the um, beauty guide, when you go to my page, you'll see 
you have the option to try on makeup there too, which is pretty cool. You just need to take a photo in natural light with no makeup, no glasses on. And um, then you would um, then get to try on the makeup. It will take you to the different products we offer. So, I just put a little bit on, and you can apply this as much or as little as you want, and we'll blend. Oh, if you see a sore on my arm, I had, had a dry skin patch, and it kept itching. And, you know, when you're doing something, I just kept itching and itching, and that's what happened, so... Nothing contagious. It was just dry skin and me scratching. Get your ears too. And if you want, you can just go down further here too. Yeah. arm's getting tired. <laughs> but it's looking pretty good. I like it. And you know what? What's really cool is it will tell you what um, recommended foundations and re what recommended blush and lip color for you too. And you can even try on the mascara, which is pretty cool, too. There we go. Look at that. I got the ear here, too. Yeah, that's nice. And you know what? The cream, the um, foundation stick is good for dry skin because it's, um, it doesn't dry to a matte finish, so it will keep your skin feeling good. You don't even feel like you have any on. Say hi when you come on. Hi, Dorothy. How are you? Thanks for joining. So that was the stick foundation and I'm going to be using palette six. I have the black mascara warming up right here. <laughs> oh, let's see. So the colors in palette six are lofty, enthralled, audacious, impressive, blazing, calm, and delightful. These are really pretty. So let's see what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with the deluxe brush and go in with enthralled. Oops, wrong brush. <laughs> Deluxe brush, okay. Enthralled, and that's one one dip. And these are buildable. I'd rather put a too little on than too much. So oh nice. I seem to hit it, but I have to get it right on the brow bone there so I can see it with my eye open. This side is more hooded, but I have to make the other side even. So I also put it there. Right on the brow bone there. So 
now we'll get the blending brush and blend. And the lighter the touch, that means you're just blending. If you touch heavier or move closer on the brush, then you're moving the color. So, let me know how your day is going. I like that. So now for the contour, we're going to go in with um, Audacious. I saw that was Audacious. We go in with this audacious. Look at how pigmented that is. And that's just going to go in here. But I have to put it up on the brow bone so it gets seen. There we go. And the blending. See that? That's nice. Hey, how are you? Say hi when you come on. Let me know you're here. I just applied Audacious as the contour color. I started with ins I started with Enthralled, yeah. So I started with that one and went to Audacious. And now I'm blending, yeah. So what's your one go-to makeup item? Mine, I think, would be mascara, yes. Something about long lashes and the rest can... Though the brows are pretty close to the mascara, so now I'm not sure. <laughs> I did say mascara before when I asked in my group. Okay, good. Now on the lid, I'm going to put... Lofty. Oh, that'll be pretty. And then delightful as a highlight. Or no, calm as a highlight. Yeah. So lofty on the lid. Wow, nice, huh? This is wonderful. Look at that. Now we'll blend. So how's your day going? Mine's going good. I slept good. Got to bed too late, though. Or should I say too early this morning? Okay, so that looks good, except a little more here. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, washer's done. Now we're gonna go in with Calm as a highlight. And look at that. Just go under the brow here. Under the brow here. Say hi when you come on. Who's watching? Dorothy, are you on? Oh, thank you, Dorothy. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's a nice subtle look, I think. Now I want to put the highlight elsewhere, which is, I'm just going to go a little, 
harder and put it right here. I don't do it inside the tear duct, I do it behind the tear duct. But it's still on the inside of the eye, so that's pretty cool. So that's palette six. And we'll use a brown eyebrow pencil. Let's go with the eyebrow pencils. These are the precision brow pencils. These are nice. I don't do wings with these, though. So, trying to put it back. There we go. <laughs> so, you go like this, and this I don't need a mirror for. These are nice and creamy and go on nice. You use little strokes. And that is the eyeliner. Now the mascara I've got in here. My knuckles are really big, so the rings have to get loose to go over the knuckles. And then right here is very slim. So they keep turning. And that's what bothers me. So, sorry. Okay. So the mascara, I do have to use a mirror, and this is the Epic One Step Mascara. This is the regular black mascara. And I bend my rods because for me, it's a little easier going on. But look at that applicator, isn't that nice? So I'm gonna look down here. I started using my lash primer because I'm. I noticed um, my lashes need help in looking thicker and longer, along with the mascara. Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? And that's one coat. The second coat, usually, it pops on the second coat. So that's that. Now I'm going to go in for another dip for the other side. Oops. Okay, I use the other side for this side. Now this side always goes better. I wonder if it's because of the, the side of the applicator. Look at that, ooh. Look at that, oh gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna keep it warm and continue with my face. Get the brushes out of the way. I'm going to use um, Supple Blush, that's my favorite. You just apply it to the apple of your cheek, right below your cheekbone there. Or right on the cheekbone, I'm sorry, right on the cheekbone there, yeah. Because the contour goes in the hollow there. I like blush, so we'll use the blush. A little bit more here. 
This will soak in. It does look like a lot now, but it will soak in. That's the blush. Now another coat of the mascara. And wait till you see this. This is amazing. This time I'm going to try this side for the other side, too. Well, that second coat does it, yeah. Boom. Now we twist, we don't pump, and then come back out. And I always like to get any excess off the end. Uh, second coat. You got a little mascara on the top and we'll get rid of that in a second. And boom. If you ever get mascara on, you use a spoolie to remove it. It's right here. And you have to wait for the regular mascara to dry and then um, use the spoolie to remove it. See that? It's gone. Yay! Now I want to introduce you to the Splash Liquid Lipstick. I think we'll go with a neutral color if I find any. Oh, that's pretty. How about that one? So these are our Splash Liquid Lipsticks. They are amazing, and I think this is soulful. This is like a, a light coral, and I thought this would go good. So you get any excess off, and this, um, if you applied it all, it would take more like 20 minutes to dry, but if you get the excess off, it'll take 10 minutes to dry. I do have my lip bonbon on under this, and it's okay because it works good with it. Then you put any excess back in the bottle with the applicator. And that is my look for today. So if you found this of value, please let your friends know about it. That will be great. And that will be helping me to support my small business. And I just want to say thank you and have a great day. See you Monday. Bye.